Car now. <laughs> Bitch, move! Shoot that nigga! What's good, YouTube? Man, it's your boy Lace, and I got down. I'm back with another motherfucking dribble tutorial. And as you can see, the six have changed since my last dribble tutorial. The six have changed, bro. Now, the reason for me changing my six, uh, I just don't like basic one. I feel like basic one, I don't know. Man. It's, it's all up to y'all personal opinion, but. I end up switching my cigs up. I, I went back. I want to start back. I want to be back like the basics. Yeah, I want to I want to stay. I want to stick to the basics. You know what I'm saying? Where it all started at. You know what I'm saying? No new shit. But you know what I'm saying? No, uh, no hate towards basic one. Basic one is still a glitchy ass, a very glitchy ass move. I see a lot of niggas still going crazy with this shit. But just not me, bro. Like, look at the shit I'm doing, bro. Jimmy is never dead, bro. Y'all niggas know fuck. Though. I just want to give a big, like, a shout out to fucking Mike Wayne, bro. This nigga came through, bro. Like, real shit, bro. Like, look at the shit I'm doing, bro. Like, this is, what y'all got to realize, this is the beginning. Like, we're still learning, bro. And we are already going crazy, bro. Like, if you go look at my first 2K19 vid and compare it to my last, bro, the growth is insane. So, I don't want y'all, for the niggas, the haters, I don't want y'all to goddamn look at this shit like, oh, you really ain't doing Nigga, this is the beginning, nigga. We ain't even got into the glitchy shit. This is just the basics. You know what I'm saying? We got to get the basics about it. We got to learn the basics first before we get into all the glitchy shit. But, uh, here go my cigs, man. I'm finna switch to live commentary, so, yeah. All right, y'all. So, we finna go ahead and get started with this dribble tour. Once again, this is live commentary. So let's go over it. let's go ahead and go over the basic moves before we get into like all the extra shit. Now the first basic move I want y'all niggas to know is this simple move from 2K19. Y'all seen us do this shit a lot in 2K19. This is the stop and like escape move. Shit is very handy, bro. For to end the clip off, like you just comboing up and you want a fake drop to the basket and you get a three. That's way to go. You get what I'm saying? So how to do this? You can and but and uh you can you could have did this before the patch. I don't know if y'all knew this, but you could have did it before the patch. But now they kind of made it like exactly like 19. So if you didn't know how to do this shit in 19, all you gotta do is hit tap L2, tap L2. Cause somebody asked me this shit in my screen the other day. You tap L2. Do not hold L2. Or you're gonna get in the post. You tap L2. And you want to hold R2 and flick your right stick down. You want to basically this R2 flick your right stick down, but you're doing it out to stop. You know what I'm saying? Creating a lot of space. On to the next move. All right, y'all. So the next move we finna go with. This move was created. I believe it was created by my nigga C Drizzy, bro. This is the momentum behind the back. Not that, not this shit that they killed, bro. This shit is there right here, bro. I'm talking about some this some new shit right here, my nigga. So what you want to do to do this, first of all, let me show y'all what this shit look like. That shit right there. The shit look clean as hell, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. That shit look glitchy as hell. But how to do it, first and foremost, I recommend y'all trying to, like, do a standing still first before you even try to, like, momentum. Like, get the hand, like, the muscle memory of this move down. Because they did, in the update, they did switch the direction to do, the like, the little moving behind the back shit. And what you want to do, you basically just want, it's the same thing, but you want to flick your your right stick diagonal down, not straight down, diagonal down. You get what I'm saying? And it's kind of, it's kind of, I ain't gonna lie, it's taking a little bit more skill to do it this year, bro. Which, is, I ain't got no problem with that. So, but um, once you get that down, what you want to do after that, you want a momentum and do the same thing. Just right after the momentum, because y'all know this year... And the reason you ever do it, cause this year momentum, you don't do moving size ups or moving animations out the momentum. You do standing animation. Y'all see that? So that's how we comboing up with the momentum this year. And since they added that, we can do that. 
You know what I'm saying? So y'all just practice that move. It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna take a little minute to learn, but once you learn this shit, easy as hell, bro. On to the next move. Now the little next combination we finna work on is the simple as you're basically just spamming spins and behind the back on some Steezo shit basically. This is basically like some Steezo shit right here. This shit right here. You can spam this shit all day, bro. Now I know this shit look basic, but once you add your little combinations like a double crossover, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta know how to combo with the shits. So basically, it's really this move is really self-explanatory. What you want to do when you momentum, you kind of want to aim your right after the momentum. Like if you start to your right hand, you want to aim your left stick towards the ball hand after you momentum. So the ball is in my right hand, so I'm gonna aim my left stick towards the right hand after I momentum. So you can get this animation right here. Hold on, I fought up, I fought up, I fought up. So you can get this animation right here. Now once you get that animation, what you want to do, you want to rotate your right stick from, let me say, 9 o'clock all the way up 12 o'clock, clockwise. So you'll get this. Now after that, you just spam the behind the back. Behind the back. And you want to kind of like aim your left stick towards the left. I know, I know y'all know like you can aim your behind the back. You want to aim it towards the left. You don't, if you aim it straight, you're going to go to the rim. You don't want to do that. You want to half spin, aim towards the left. Half spin, aim towards the right. You know what I'm saying? And you just spam that shit. And this shit actually gets you open and pro am like people be confused as hell because it's going to get you right bomb. You can eat and, and with this move, bro, you can easily go to the rim at any fucking point, bro. At any fucking point. As soon as you see a, a glimpse of light, bro, to the rim, you can take off towards that bitch on God. <laughs> but I just wanted to explain that little come on because somebody did ask me that move. With, that move to the screen. So shout out to that man right there. But um, on to the next move. Alright y'all, so the next move finna go over. We finna go with this glitchy ass reverse crossover. Y'all see y'all keep seeing me doing all these clips and shit. So we finna go over that. Now I want y'all listening very close to the, everything I'm finna say, bro. Cause the shit the move is kinda complicated. And like I'm like I'm still learning this shit as well. But what you wanna do, as you can see, when you do that momentum. And into that crossover behind you want when you do that you got to hold your left stick completely right You're like if you start in the same ball hand as I start you want to hold your left stick completely towards the right because because uh, when you get that crossover behind the back you want to be completely turned sideways if you turn like too too much towards the basket you're not going to get this reverse crossover you got to be completely facing sideways you get what I'm saying so like when you when you momentum you want to hold your left stick all the way sideways now when you get when you get that animation down pack and down right what you want to do after that you want to quickly and you hold it r2 the entire time you're doing this r2 the entire time and, uh but like i was saying what you want to do after that you want to quickly hold your left stick down as soon as the animation finish you want to hold your left stick completely down sometimes i do have to aim uh aim my left stick kind of towards like the left a little bit like bottom left but most of the time it'd be like directly down and it will give you like this little turnaround animation and that's when you want to do the crossover which is flicking your right stick towards the right so let's go over again you want to momentum and your left stick left i mean towards the right crossover behind the back then you want to hold your left stick downwards and you want to flick your your right stick towards the right and after that you can do a half spin you can do a, another cross behind the back it's up to you to figure out how you want to combo combo it but once again this is a very difficult move i don't expect y'all to go into my court and get this immediately because it, it took me time to learn as well but you know what I'm saying? That's it for this dribble tutorial, bro. This is an updated dribble tutorial on my new series. Once again, I did switch from basic one. I do not use basic one anymore. And yeah, man, that's it with this video. I'm going to fuck with y'all, bro. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'm out, bro.